We've all wondered why Oscar award-winning superstar Regina King withdrew for a whole year after being in the limelight for a long time. But I think we know now. The actress has been through a lot recently, which might have made her depressed. Could it be because of her son's tragic incident or her love life? Stick around to find out. Regina married Ian Alexander Sr. in 1997, but later divorced him in 2007, with the public puzzled about the reason for her separation. However, King talked about their relationship in an essay featured in her book, He Never Came Home, Interviews, Stories, and Essays from Daughters on Life Without Their Father. By sharing her own experiences from her parents' divorce, the actress wrote about how she came to realize that she and Alex needed to sort out their post-marriage relationship for the sake of their child. In fact, in one of Ian's basketball games, the two were seen trying to keep their distance from each other. Regina was not thrilled that the pair had to behave this way in one of the biggest moments for their child. On an occasion when we should have been united, we were miles apart, which was not cool. She recognized herself falling into a familiar pattern. She added in an excerpt of an essay featured in Essence that, because of our issues, Ian was becoming the kid whose parents were so disconnected that they couldn't even sit next to each other, let alone have a civilized conversation. I had been that kid once, and it wasn't fun. She blamed her parents for the difficulties she had in her marriage. Just as I'd watched my parents arguing and fighting, my son watched his parents arguing and fighting. It was like history repeating itself, and I felt terrible about having him witness that. Though, at the time of the divorce, the Boondock star did not seem depressed, and even later dated Malcolm Jamal Warner after her divorce. The pair were together for a while before they parted in 2013. Warner said, Our breakup got more coverage than our being together, and that kind of sucked, because we spent so much time trying to keep it out of the public eye, and then the breakup was so much in the public eye. But ever since then, Regina hasn't been seen dating anyone but the actress was probably looking to get it right the next time, as she pointed out in a show on Wendy Williams. You know, I need to do a better job at it, and I have been so busy with work. But since she had been divorced for a while, many have said this could probably not have been the reason for her depression, as she had gone on to perform in movies even after that. It is also said that her relationship with Warner didn't work out because she was more focused on her career. However, everything changed when her son, Ian Alexander Jr., died. The Oscar winner shared her child with ex-husband Ian Alexander Sr. The former couple welcomed their child just a year after tying the knot. Even before their divorce, Ian had been his mother's date at movie premieres and many red carpet events since he was seven years old, even embracing him at the May 2003 premiere of Daddy Daycare and posing with him at the premiere of Legally Blonde 2. As Ian grew, he continued accompanying his mom to red carpets and had a special high-five moment with his mom after she won an Emmy and in October 2021, when she cemented her handprint at the famed TLC Chinese Theater in Hollywood. She was happy with her son and wished him a happy 23rd birthday in a touching Instagram post in 2019. The Ohio native captioned a throwback photo of her son in a football jersey saying, The best thing that ever happened to me happened on this date, and just like that, you make your 23rd trip around the sun. There is not a person that crosses your path who would disagree with the fact that your presence makes their life brighter. What a gift to be your mother. Thank you for whispering in God's ear and saying, I choose her to be my mama. I can barely finish this post because tears of joy keep streaming down my face. My heart is exploding with love for you, my young king. Continue to dream boundlessly and hustle tirelessly. Ian was a professional DJ and record producer and went by the stage name Destiny. But it seemed that Ian had a bad mental health and must have suffered some degree of emotional struggle just before he died. It might have been a pain he endured quietly and tried to work through with a mental health professional or his family. However, his last post on Twitter in the days leading up to his suicide indicated that something was wrong. I don't think Instagram is healthy for me, he tweeted. The circumstances surrounding his death isn't yet clear, but it was confirmed that he had taken his own life. Regina wrote in the aftermath of his death that our family is devastated at the deepest level by the loss of Ian. He is such a bright light who cared so deeply about the happiness of others. The incident happened just three days after Ian had made a post on Instagram where he promoted his upcoming show. He had a show scheduled on Friday in Los Angeles and even predicted his career was about to blow up. It's been a minute 
But now we're back at the jump off. Don't you want to say you supported Destiny before the blow up? Ian wrote in the post. Aside from his music career, Ian was also a celebrity chef. He told Flaunt Magazine that he had planned on opening his restaurant within the next three years. But unfortunately, it did not happen. A year after going under the radar since the tragedy, Regina broke her silence on social media. The actress and director posted a loving tribute to her son. To honor his life, King recorded a lantern lighting ceremony she participated in for his remembrance and called him a guiding light. January 19th is Ian's worth day. As we still process his physical absence, we celebrate his presence. We are all in different places on the planet. So is Ian. His spirit is the thread that connects us. Of course, orange is your favorite color because it breathes fire and calmness. I see you in everything I breathe, Regina wrote. This post was the first Regina made about her family after the sad loss. Although the actress has been decorated with many accolades, including the Golden Globe, Oscar, and several Emmys, but according to her, being Ian's mom was her greatest achievement. The 52-year-old continued her post by writing, My absolute favorite thing about myself is being Regina, the mother of Ian, the God King. In an interview in 2018, the Watchmen actress shared how close she was with her son, detailing how they got matching tattoos on their forearm, which read Unconditional Love in Aramaic, which they learned while studying Kabbalah together. That mama bear thing where I will do anything for my child? I'm one of those moms. I will give my right arm and my writing arm for my child's safety so my child can advance and reach higher than I ever reached, King said at the time continued to shine bright, my guiding light. His last song, Green Eyes, was posted on YouTube on January 6 and has gathered 5,000 views. His mom hyped the song on her Instagram where she posted, now listening to Green Eyes at Desdeny MJV, said he would quit smoking if he gets a million streams. Man, listen, I got this jam on repeat. Ian has previously released the funky track with lengthy vocals as Desdeny. In May 2021, he said it was a tribute to Prince. I just want to make the next Purple Rain. This was a good first stab at it. Both songs were supposed to be featured on his debut album named Clementine, according to Rated R&B. It is unclear why the singer decided to end his life, but probably his most revealing tweet came on December 2020 when he wrote, Christmas time is wild. I wake up annoyed as hell when I'm grateful because it's about to be Capricorn season. Then I see a couple. Then I'm annoyed. Then I drink with the fam and we're back a real bipolar time of year. So Ian was bipolar, a disorder that affects 4.4% of Americans at some time in their lives. Once known as manic depression, bipolar is a mood swing that can be threaded to the patient if not controlled. Probably if it was diagnosed early, the singer might have had an easier time dealing with it. But after a year, Regina is finally out again. Her appearance on the red carpet in Italy gave fans hope that she would overcome her depression and get back to her best again. Let us know your opinion in the comment box. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button. We'll see you in the next video.